The Salopian Mixture with Michaela Wild and Simon Berry. Bringing you Shropshire's best new music. Listening to the Salopian mixtape with me, Michaela Wilds. And me, Simon Berry. Welcome. This is series three of the podcast, and we are very glad to be back and sharing some brilliant music made right here in our fair, 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 fine county of Shropshire. Uh, and we're outside in the fine county because it's been a really lovely day today. And uh, we thought, you know what, this first episode is all about the music, getting back into the first episode, you know, full on music. We've had absolutely heaps of the stuff so we need to start playing it and um, where better to do that than sitting in um well shea berry beer garden shea berry beer garden indeed otherwise known as my back garden um <laughs> and we, we're not joined by the dog outside nor the ferret outside today but you will be able to hear some noises around i might get the ferret out just for fun um you never know <laughs> But uh, that could be problematic. Who knows? But what we are going to be doing is playing you loads of brilliant music, highlighting the brilliant artists that we have in the county so that you know where your next big music fix is going to come from. And you can also go into a couple of local record shops and buy the stuff as well. Absolutely. So last series, series two, we launched our local release of the series. Adele and Andy's um, release, Angels and Demons, was our first local release of the series. And um, we could not allow it to pass us by that a certain incredible artist who is basically Mr Telford and (laughs) done so much for the local scene, done so much for the community with everything he does. um, And he's just released this amazing album really is amazing I've, I've made a point today i'd heard various bits of it and listened to various tracks but i made a point today to listen from start to finish to kind of get the journey of how he'd you know planned it and put the whole thing together but i absolutely loved the journey of it from start to finish so we had to choose trademark blood's new album we did indeed. So a uh, brand new release of the series, which is something that we are going to be sharing a different track from each and every week here on the Salopian Mixtape is by Mr. Trademark Blood. It's called Tetracyclics and uh, it's it's such a great album. I have it on red vinyl. If you've been following the social, uh, the social medias uh, of uh, the Salopian Mixtape, you will have seen me doing a little unboxing of said vinyl because nothing makes me happier than getting a vinyl through the post and opening it and then seeing how lovely and juicy red it is. Oh, very lovely. So too did Emma from Spinning Around Records in Wellington because she's received some from Trademark Blood. They are for sale at that wonderful record store and at Tubeway 2 in Bridge North. Um, They are centre and forward. You can get hold of a vinyl copy or a copy on CD as well of this brilliant album. And um, what should we let? Mr. Trademark Blood, tell you a little bit more about the album? I think that's probably a very good idea, Michaela. The name of my album is called Tetracyclics or Tetracyclics. It can be pronounced both ways, um, so possibly similar to the argument between Shrewsbury and Shrewsbury. All the people from Shropshire that know that that argument's ongoing and to continue. Uh, it can be pronounced both ways. It's the names taken from the antidepressant tetracyclic, uh, the type of antidepressant. And um, I wrote it for that reason back in 2023, um, after a long struggle with, with mental health that I think everyone, you know, has their own struggles and degrees of it. I'd kind of been um, having panic attacks for 10 years um some really terrible ones some some not so bad and it's just been an up and down journey <clears throat> um and incorrectly i guess i i didn't go and see anyone for quite some time and kind of struggled with it and and you know i got by really and i guess because i was getting by and and still functioning and doing what i was doing i, I felt like i was well enough and probably didn't need the help but um things got you know more and more on top of me as 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 time went on and in 2023 I, I went to see someone I was, I was diagnosed with mixed depressive and anxiety disorder which explains an awful lot which explained an awful lot 
Um, and it just happened that I was getting some beats off the producer Westy, very known, very well known grime producer uh, around the same time. And so um, it only made sense. I, I got diagnosed and got prescribed um, tetracyclic medication. Uh, and as I was getting the album together and, you know, using music to, to help me, really, um, I was reading, the, reading the, the documents that come with the medication and it, it said tetracyclic and it just just fell into place. And I thought, I'm going to write this from from my heart and I'm going to write this from a perspective of um, um, from the mind and the heart, you know. Uh, there was a lot of I had a lot of apprehension about the medication, and I think it's kind of shows in the album. Uh, I felt like there was a possibility that taking the medication <clears throat> might change um, who I am. I might not be able to rap anymore, and things like that was going through my head. Or the creativity might disappear. I might lose um, the passion for it, and just a lot of fear. Really, I think that fear kind of fed into why I didn't go to see anyone sooner um so yeah i began to write the album and it all started to fall into place really the songs they kind of dip in and out of of medication and mental health and also i think it was a way of capturing who i am as an artist and who i am as a person just in case this medication was to take it away and um you know i'm happy to say i, I took the medication and Nothing changed as far as I know. I'm still here, uh, still as creative as ever. And um, yeah, it's, you know, as I talk through the songs and, and explain them, uh, a lot of it will make sense. Yo, this is Trademark Blood. Track number seven, taken from my album Tetracyclics, is called Watch Your Mouth. This is probably the most fun track on the album. There's a lot of comedy in there. It's basically talking um, to people, telling them to watch their mouth, but from the um from from the side of dental hygiene so there's a lot of dental hygiene references in there and um, the music video still hasn't been shot yet but we're hoping to kind of have this shot in a in a kind of back back underground um dentistry so keep tuned for that yeah the two fairies getting that jay-z money this year put your teeth under your pillow you know what i mean watch your mouth Yo, what's the speak bow? What's the cheap bow? Try to stop when we shout. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. Try to stop when we shout. I'll knock your teeth out. What's the speak bow? What's the cheap bow? Try to stop when we shout. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. Try to stop when we shout. I knock your teeth out. These men all smiley, but behind my back they still hate haters. And that's because they just afraid to chat to my face. Yeah. They keep comparing, trying to take my spot like toothpaste. Yeah. By the time the carnivores fly, my G, it's really too and late. Like Told you, home. getting lined just like you're supposed to. I wake up without all your molars. Standing in your garden live on the ground, and I break through the fence like Gianfranco Zola. Telling man you're a chimbo folder. Telling y'all you're a strip controller. When doors go off in the night, you squeak in the cupboard like Gordon the Gopher. Stop it. You never done throw show, you won't throw dough the hobbit. You can't go toe to toe or go face to face with razor blades in your pocket. So you get your eight friends to say, oh, you are the best, and no one can stop it. But the proof's in the pudding, you sausage. Your wallet. He's grommet, the attitude bear makes me vomit Six teeth stuck in my cob on it You pray 3.7 shows in a whole year and got the nerve to say that you done it Bear birds like ends as a forest I mean birthday suit if I'm honest Real talk, I called up your girl and told her to come She said, trade him on it The left will shake you, the right hook will break you So come get a face full, not even Colgate gon' save you Not even Listerine help ya, not even a Listerine help us And yes, it's still King Trademark's reign Little man better run for the shelter Yo, what's the speak bow? What's the cheap bow? Try to stop when we shout. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. Try to stop when we shout. I'll knock your teeth out. What's the speak bow? What's the cheap bow? Try to stop when we shout. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. I'll knock your teeth out. Try to stop when we shout. I knock your teeth out. Yeah, blood, you know what it is. Westy trademark blood. Grab your hazmat, we're cooking bangers. Man are running their gums without a gum shield. Don't think I don't know what you say behind my back, G. Say 
save up for some dentures Book an emergency dentist appointment Kids, don't be like that guy you heard Brush your teeth every day <laughs> That was Watch Your Mouth by Trademark Blood here on the Salopian mixtape That is track number 7 from our local release of the series Our brand new local release of the series by Trademark Blood It's called Tetracyclics And you can buy the entire album now um, You can not only stream it But you can buy it in person Either on CD or vinyl Red vinyl Red vinyl is beautiful uh, <laughs> Either at uh, Tubeway 2 in Bridge North Or in Wellington at Spinning Around Records Now obviously this is the first track of the se- this series And it's the first track that we've used this week For the local release of the series You'll hear other tunes from Tetracyclics Over the, um, the next seven weeks beyond this And... Um, um, I, I messaged Simon earlier on because, as I say, I listened to it from start to finish today to kind of get the journey. Although there's other tunes that I feel like obviously we're going to need to play, I was like, this has to be the first one because it made me smile. There were moments of this tune that I was just like, this is just brilliant. Um, it's it's meaty. It's got that kind of like filthy, bassy, griminess to it, but lyrically. It's so cheeky and really funny. I know, yeah. <laughs> like, it's brilliant. Because Trademark Blood is really good at... He's, I mean, he's great at gravitas and um, and sort of the meaning behind things and uh, spelling out a clear message. And sometimes he's also very good at being just very funny. Uh, <laughs> and this has got, like, beef to it, but it's also, like, proper tongue-in-cheek as well. Love it. I messaged you earlier on just saying... <laughs> your favourite lyric, wasn't I it? I found my favourite... Li- <laughs> it might be one of my favourite lyrics. Maybe ever. It's at least top five, oh, I'm right, going right, to say. Yeah, yeah. Right. The proof's in the pudding. Your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever been called a sausage in a song before? I don't know. That might be a first. <laughs> it might be a first. It's brilliant. But there were moments, honestly, I was I was walking listening to this and I audibly chuckled like more than once because the lyrics were so good. And what I love about um, Tim Rogers, also known as Trademark Blood, is that um, he delivers lyrics really, really well in a way that you can you get the message, as you mentioned, when with the tracks that have got the deeper, more kind of... Um, the sort of the the deeper message to them, yeah. Because th- I remember at the Shropshire Music Awards, the first one, which by the way he also organised. Oh yeah. Um, but he did he did a little performance, full full on costume change as well. So you know it was you had trademark blood the artist and trademark blood the organiser, completely different people. But um, he did a song, and I uh, I might be wrong, but I think it's called Square One, and it's one of his which doesn't have any sort of instrumentation as such as a backing track it's more like a drone oh yes you told me about this because I, I don't think i was there at, on for no, that one no and so i i we watched him perform this and you you you've only got him to focus on and the lyrics and the way he delivers it and you could have heard a pin drop in the room because everyone like because it was one of those events where everyone sort of milling about and meeting people and then he was on stage and just as soon as he got into the sort of second line of it, the whole room fell silent and was just transfixed on him because he's got that kind of power to his voice. Yeah, there's there's pace, there's conviction, but there's real clarity in what he's saying as well. And I think whether it's something that is on the more the heavier side emotionally within the message he's trying to convey um, to, obviously with this last track, something a little more tongue-in-cheek, as you say, Um he just delivers it absolutely perfectly. He's such a pro, and I'm really excited to to be able to share these tracks each week and to and to be able to hear more and more trademark blood. Yes, please. You are listening to the Salopian mixtape with Michaela Wilde and Simon Berry. We are playing you a load of brilliant music made right here in the county, and we're going to continue doing so with a brand new release from a band that I think I can safely say for the pair of us, we love. We love this band. 
with big old bells on. Uh, so this is a brand new release from Mana Heights, who are very, very good. They are uh, all from Telford. They're Ben, Daryl, Ryan, Jace and Belly G. And they are all from Scarburst, a uh, local band as well. So listen to this. It's brand new. There's a couple more to be released this year, which I can't wait for. But this is very good indeed. It's called Magic Seeds.
much exceeds Manor Heights. A slightly slower paced offering from them um, but still giving you that kind of scarry feel great vocals uh, this band's previously well, i say previously as they've, they've been scarburst for many many years doing um covers here there and everywhere and got such a huge following because they are just on point as a live performance band and they really know the sound they want to make so now they've kind of moved into the world of original music I think they'd already they'd already got the magic formula, if you will, the magic seeds oh. of what makes brilliant music for them. So there we go. Well done, Michaela Wild. It just translates so well, and I think they um, whether it's getting you up and dancing around, yeah, or making you you know sit and listen. They um, they they've got skills skills on tap. Skills to pay to bills, pal. And uh, that song is all about uh, it, it being okay to not be okay. Um, brilliant message as well. If you want to find out more about Manor Heights, search for Manor Heights online. Or if you want to see them live, you can do on the 11th of August at Farmer Phil's, the festival in our fair county of Shropshire. That there, Farmer Phil's. Yeah, mate. And there's quite a few artists performing there that are artists that we play right here. And off the top of my head... Most of them have vanished, um, but I know Maceo is definitely on there. And and I've got a blank as well. So if you want to find out more, check out the lineup. <laughs> Here's a fun game. See how many of those artists that you've heard on this podcast are on the lineup and let us know because clearly we can't remember off the top of our heads. Uh, but it's a great way of finding out about new music in the county if you've not seen bands play live. Farmer Fields is always a good place to go. But here on the Salopian mixtape is the place to go if you want to listen to brilliant new musicians who have released music to the world. If you're a brilliant musician, by the way, and you want to share your music with us, head to thesalopiamixtape.com. It's very easy to send us your music. Tell us more about you. Share your tunes with us. And who knows, we might play, be playing you right here next week. That is a fact. We might be. So <laughs> exactly what has happened with Casey. Um, we played Casey on the show before, I believe. That bird was impressed. Hello, that sounded like, a ra- sounded like a round of applause. Oh, that pigeon was applauding Casey already, and we haven't <laughs> even heard her song. Um, she says, I like to make relatable sad songs that people can cry to. I'm also in a band called Coffee, yeah. where I like to write slightly less sad songs, but still sad. <laughs> uh, and she says that the her fun fact is that most of my cool song ideas come to me when my phone dies, so I can't record it and forget it. And this song is the only one I've ever remembered. Oh my goodness, that is so frustrating. I know. Oh, so listen to this, um, tre- treasure it, because this is the only one that Casey could remember and didn't have time to get down on in on her phone this is then Casey and In This Life Lie away and I can see tomorrow coming closer my mistake thinking you'll still be here when it's over and do much better for you cause in my brain nothing's heavy when we're together and even if I cry
Billy Eilish, what was I made for? Vibes. Oh, yeah. Very kind of like wispy, haunting, beautiful vocal, gentle accompaniment, and just making you go, oh, that's, that's, that's the reaction Are you okay, I have. Casey? Yeah, but beautiful, but, yeah. absolutely. Could gorgeous. I just get you to say haunted again the way you did? Haunting. <laughs> I don't even know I did that. Haunting. Haunting. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm trying to communicate Orton. with the um, wood pigeons. Who. Well, the wood pigeons have gone to tell their friends all oh. about Casey. Has a wood pigeon just responded? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, 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 Look, this is Michaela. This is our other podcast. <laughs> I see a bird Podcasting in... pigeons is <laughs> is not. This one. You've heard of a partridge amongst the pigeon, <laughs> pigeons. A podcast. Podcast on, amongst the just pigeons. Going, Please stop that. They're replying. Yeah, I know. What am I saying to them? Exactly. Have That's I just invited them round for dinner? This is how the birds started. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Hitchcock classic started with somebody going, yeah, they're coming to sort us out. <laughs> that was Casey, and in this life, she's also <laughs> part of the brilliant band Coffee that we um, played quite a few times on the podcast. And um, yeah, like the young musician, the band's all like a young band from um, Telford College, and I think just the stage they're at now and the talent they've got is just spectacular, really. So can't wait to see how individually and as a group that talent progresses. Exactly. <laughs> Someone else who has progressed over the years is an artist that we have known and loved as Ez. And he sent in new music, which I absolutely love because he's got a special guest artist on it. Um, brand new artist that I've never heard of. He's called Big Ted. Uh, do you know anything about I've never him? heard of. I've never heard of Big Ted. Who's Big Ted, Michaela? So it sounds like a big deal, but he's um, been a big deal on this track. And yeah, we are absolutely loving the work of Ez. Uh, we have mistakenly in the past in the other place that we... The other place. The other. Um, we initially called him Easy <laughs> and Ease. Yeah. Um, because it's just the letter E, the letter Z, and a full stop, quite important yes. often as well. Um, but it is Ez. And Ez is making great shoots. He is indeed. This, is, he says, is uh, uh, one that he wrote with his little boy, who also sung the chorus on this song. So listen out for this. This is Ez featuring Big Ted. It's called A Nice Day to Be Alive. More or less, but they contacts our thoughts, yeah So we still have that freedom We'll never be filthy rich, but our hands are clean And although we graft till our hands are sore We have to, we know who we graft them for Giving up the luxury that we can't afford That's how we manage giving everything and some more uh, There's not a little thing that I would change Listen, we'll always find a way And get a cash up and try and save so we can pack up and fly away Until then we have to wait But even if we have to stay Because the dreams never match the wages If I'm with you then that's okay Oh, 
hold your hand through the hard moments when I feel I'm failing, man. It seems my heart's broken. I know I ain't perfect. I'm trying my best. Yes, I confess that I'm a mess and I can be a stressor. But you be better than I ever could be, and you take the whistle. Don't you ever quit or don't you dare give in. But listen, don't be thinking it's material, so bear with me. It's not where you're at, so you're there with it. There ain't a single thing that we couldn't live through. Listen, we'll always have some issues. Learn from my dad, and he has some big shoes. I plan to fill them one day, they'll fit you. My whole life, what I plan to give you. I lose my mind when I can't be with you. Anytime without you, I miss you. Can't sleep, can't dream, blink 182. Simon Berry. You can get your music heard at the Salopia Mixtape. It's Ez featuring Big Ted, also known as his son. How <laughs> how wonderful is that? Absolutely love that. It's called A Nice Day to Be Alive and it feels like a nicer day to be alive, having heard that tune. I'm a big fan of this guy. We've said before about Ez that he is extremely self-deprecating and basically <laughs> thinks he's all right is what he reckons. He's all right. I'll just send you my music. It's all right. It's far better than all right. He's very talented. And... Um, Brad about nice bloke as well. Yeah, and also quite funny. Uh, he's sent a bit of a description of himself, um, <laughs> which I think is with tongue firmly placed in cheek. He says, I began making music as a means to enhance my chances of joining the Illuminati. <laughs> At this time, I have not received any communication from the organisation in question. Uh, in terms of personal preferences, I prefer my tea with two sugars and 19 biscuits. No more, no less. Additionally, I am fluent in, a numerous language, in numerous languages, some of which are real. I have a keen ability to observe my surroundings through windows, and I don't believe in birds. Ooh. <laughs> I can tell you right now they exist because they're getting ever closer. Look, there's another one now. There's more of them. I know. There's That's... one bird and now there's four. We've also called out a dog because your dog Bertie's joined us. Yeah, he's going to be our protection hound. <laughs> That's not how you communicate with a dog, Michaela. <laughs> Michaela, stop communicating with the birds. Shall we play another song? I think we should. And I'm excited about this because it is a bunch of blokes making brilliant music also known as David Mulby, Stiggy Pop, Luke, I Am Your Father, Paul, and Ellis, Who the Daddy, Ames, um, also known as Weekend Dad. We will tell you more about them after you hear Mario's Fingers.
That was Mario's Fingers and Weekend Dad. And uh, they, they say, we're a new band. Look, shiny. And they also say, from Telford and Shrewsbury, we were born and raised in Albert's Shed. We spent most of our days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, apart from our crippling anxiety, you fools. <laughs> They're a ridiculous bunch of people, and I love them so much. <laughs> uh, they've also put a fun fact on here. They're saying, we're the best band from Shropshire since to pow to pow their last to pow. Jokes. There are thousands of amazing Shropshire bands. Uh. Missing Fingers, A Pig Called Eggs, Adult Play, Boom Boom Womb, Drave, Goatman, uh, The Moth, LF, Wax Futures. I could go on, but, you know, there we go. Um, I really like this. We um, we appreciated that uh, David Mulby from Weekend Dad sent us this tune separately before he then sent us this tune. We got being a, sneak like, pre- a sneak peek. Going, oh, listen to this, because he was terribly excited. Um, and I absolutely love this. I, um, I enjoy a song that surprises you and takes you down a different avenue that you're not expecting. And that kind of breakdown bit in the middle where we go off in a different direction. Yeah. Uh, they could be standalone individual tunes that would be brilliant but bringing it all together is just wonderful and then it kind of refreshes to come back in again at the end i think it's just brilliantly put together um as an ensemble sounds fantastic all superb instrumentalists um and clearly some brilliant personalities in this band and i can only imagine that they are brilliantly bonkers on stage yeah they are a bit i saw them at loop fest they did their very first gig at loop fest uh, at the wheat sheaf in frankwell and it was great they got the crowd going considering it was their first gig um as weekend dad everyone loved it they were properly bouncing dancing around chilling out maxing relaxing all cool it was really good and i saw i did see a clip of the cover because they did they did a cover um, of uh, Danger, Danger. High, high voltage. voltage. Yeah, I wish Electric I'd seen six. that. I wish I'd seen that live because that sounded and looked absolutely amazing on the video yeah. that I saw. It's great. And uh, David's got such a stage presence, which both at the same time says, I know what I'm doing. And also, I've no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a brilliant mix. <laughs> Uh, and if you ever get a chance to see them live, then d- do, because they're ace. Which you can do. Their debut single launch is Friday the 16th of August. Uh, you need to follow them on Instagram for more details. They're not telling us where it is. No, you've got to find out for you've yourself. You've got to find out for yourself. You've got to put some work in. Exactly. That's what they expect if you're involved in Weekend Dads, if you're being a Weekend Dad and you want to, you know, find out more. Yeah, but if you're not being a Weekend Dad and you just want to be, you know, jumping around in a mosh pit... Check them out. I suppose that might be difficult if the um, debut single launch is the weekend that you've got the kids. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's a Friday night, so you can pick them up in the morning on Saturday. There we go. With a hangover. <laughs> Don't condone that, Simon. No, I'm not, I'm not condoning that. I'm Just not push the pick-up that. time back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Without causing any arguments. Anyway, if you're making <laughs> fabulous music, whether you're making chilled out, gorgeous classical stuff maybe you're in the world of jazz maybe you're making <laughs> blues music did you enjoy that I did yeah and um, perhaps you are an indie rock star maybe you're making the heaviest screamy metal which we love by the way or dubstep oh yeah something like that it's just anything filthy dance music like yeah. you know like really full on dance music anything and everything goes the reason we're giving you a full range here is we want to be surprised we want to be sent stuff that we go oh I've never heard anything like this before and if we like it and if it makes us go oh we'll play it <laughs> that's it if you can make that is your aim right for, for this to make you go oh! <laughs> that's what we've got to do that's our aim for this series of the Salopian mixtape is you send music that makes Michaela and Simon go, <gasps> okay, deal. <laughs> the salopianmixtape.com is where you need to go. I think after all of the uh, energy and um, greatness of Weekend Dad, we need to just take it down a notch in terms of the, the sort of, we need to just cool down a little bit. We need to chillax a little bit. I think it's important. I was getting a bit concerned that um, the amount of pigeons oh, was we- increasing. There's three of them now. I don't know whether the other two, because there were five at one point, the other two have kind of flown off to go and get uh, they, some they've friends. Gone, they've gone to get reason, they've gone to get back up. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have neighbours coming round going, "Why was there a weird woman in your garden making pigeon noises? Well, Specifically, the wood pigeon variety." 
<laughs> it's the only call I know. <laughs> I were, <laughs> one of my childhood homes, there were big trees by the back of the house, which was right by my window. And the wood pigeons would endlessly be like, and I got, I remember getting so annoyed about it that I'd be like, oh, is that all you know? <laughs> Learn a new song. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you're a dance music producer, I'd really love to hear <laughs> sampled in something. Okay, there we go. We've got another thing that you can try and play for, work out and have we'll fun play with. It. Yeah, I mean, Michaela is, it will, she will play anything that's got her voice on it. <laughs> Something that has literally happened on this show and will probably happen again at some point fairly soon. <laughs> I don't doubt it, but shall we, ha- shall we listen? Hey! What? That made it sound like... I'm... No, but I, I know that there's other stuff to come. That was like, I don't doubt it, that you'll play stuff. If it was just my stuff... Oh, yeah, if it was just your stuff, I'd put a blanket ban on you and kick you out of the podcast team. <laughs> I'm dug deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm not playing bass on my next music. Fine. It's all right. Rubbish anyway. <laughs> I've, got, I've got no brain power to write anything to <laughs> All I can think of is wood pigeons. I'll tell you who does have brain power. Oh? Buzz Aldrin. I will tell you the link between Buzz Aldrin and this next song in a minute. <laughs> I just probably went, oh? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, and Michaela's just read it as well and worked out what we're doing. <laughs> and so this then is Aliana Chambers. It's called To the Moon. Let's see. Six years old in a car Staring up at the stars Big and bright there you are And you're following me All the way up in space Try and look for your face Is it true what they say About hides in the sea That he loves 
You're listening to the Salopian mixtape with Michaela Wilde and Simon Berry in uh, the the Berry Beer Garden, which is my back garden. And you've just been listening to Aliana Chambers and To The Moon. That's absolutely beautiful. We love everything that she ever sends, yeah. releases, writes about, it's sings. Just, it's dreamlike and it does. it feels like it is trying to literally take you off your feet towards the moon. Um, which is just lovely. She says that she's back again with more cosmic love songs. This is a bossa nova style jazz pop number and is her love song dedicated to the moon. And uh, yeah, she spends her time between Ellesmere, her hometown, and London for the day job. I did say before you heard that that I would tell you a bit more about the link between this artist and the song and Buzz Aldrin. You did, yeah. I will tell you now. Oh, go on. <laughs> uh, she, Ali, Aliana Chambers says she's been fascinated with the moon for as long as I can remember and was even lucky enough to meet Buzz Aldrin, the second man to ever step foot on the moon, uh, when she was younger at a space convention. And I did see on social media the, the other day a photo of Aliana, her dad, and, oh, her dad, um, Hugh, Hugh Chambers, um, and Buzz Aldrin, uh, there's a, an old photo of them together. That's really sweet. I remember I've I've spoken to Hugh in the past. Um, in the other place. Who? Hugh. Who? Hugh. Who? Hugh. Hugh. Oh. Chambers. Hugh. Uh, Aliana Chambers' dad. Uh, a couple of times in the past at the old place, and he's got fascinating stories. A very intelligent man, um, and was always trying to aid in his children's music career and Aliana is just a perfect example of how he's helped out with that and yeah wonderful music absolutely she is such a talent hunt her down become a fan if you enjoyed that we can promise you're going to love other music from her because um it's it's just gorgeous thank absolutely. you absolutely <laughs> not I'm talking, I'm talking about Aliana Chambers oh yeah yeah okay fine yeah yeah tell you what is gorgeous this some dance music it gets right up in your face and gives you a good old peck on the cheek it does loves a bit of dance music and loving dance music that comes out of telford telford is so brilliant for amazing dance music and what a way to wrap up this week's offering our first episode of series three i know not messing around are we oh no mate not messing around at all if you're enjoying what you're listening to and you're wanting to make sure that you are at the bleeding edge of the new music that's coming out in shropshire that's right i called them the new musics uh then you can of course subscribe to wherever you are listening to this uh, and you can always listen on a friday night on shropshire live radio from seven o'clock And you can just become our friends on social media as well. Everything you need to know is thesalopianmixtape.com. This would be perfect for a Friday night as well. The fabulous Joshua Cook. This is Ultra ID.
Ultra ID, it's Joshua Cook straight out of Telford. We have been loving his music over the years. Supremely talented um, and well, the man needs awards. And he got awards. Well, he got an award at the Shropshire Music Awards. He got Best Producer. Um, he's also done very well in the UK Upfront Club chart hits. Uh, two top tens and one top five. And let's face it, we're not surprised. He's brilliant. He is incredibly good. And uh, I think we're going to be continually hearing more music from Joshua Cook. He also says his uh, fun fact on his profile when he goes to the mixtape.com is that he's always looking for a collaboration. And Joshua Cook, I've got the moment for you. I've got it for you, right? I was going to say there's only one <laughs> solitary pigeon left, but now there's two. Um, you can either collaborate directly with the pigeons. I'll go and get some names if you want. Or if you'd like to sample, and we did mention this earlier on in the podcast, um, if you'd like to sample my wood pigeon, feel free. <laughs> Are you ready? Woohoo! Woohoo! On that note, um, you have been listening to the Salopian mixtape with myself, Simon Berry, and as ever, Pigeon Whisperer Wild. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for listening. We're going to um, take shelter from the birds. There's only one left now. And or record them. Yeah. Oh, that one's gone. There we That's go. That's so weird. So they, they know it's the end. They knew it was the end. Like, we're not making this up. So during our recording... They gathered, they enjoyed, they chatted, they shared their feedback and then we've just said, right, we've, we've concluded, we, we're done for the day and they've, they've flown off, the last um, pigeon. I think they've just followed us on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. Oh, they've told some other bird friends about it as well, they've just flown past. I mean, what would have been beautiful is if X hadn't changed their name because... Yeah, but not allowed to call send, it now. Sending us a tweet would have been wonderful. It would have been, yeah. But... Although it would have been a... On that note. Anyway, we really need to stop, don't we? Yes, we do. What a lovely um, first episode back. We've had a few <laughs> weeks. Strange first episode back. It's been joyous. See, this wouldn't have happened if we'd gone to a location because I we would have, have to behave a little more, we'd... yeah. Yeah. But uh, we will continue misbehaving throughout this series. Thank you very much for listening. And you can always subscribe to us wherever you are listening to us so you can enjoy the next one when it is released instantly. And if you do happen to create a tune that features some wood pigeon in it, please send it our way and any other music because we want to play music, the Salopian Mixtape dot com. The Salopian Mixtape with Simon Berry and Michaela Wilde. Bringing you Shropshire's best new music. You can get your music heard at the salopiamixtape.com. <laughs>